Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Sakian Jones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And today, as you guys probably see from the title, this is gonna be a DIY video. So um, if you catch up with my vlogs, you probably know that I did like a DIY kind of lime wash kind of situation to my bedroom. And um, for this one, I am gonna now do it for my living room. So, um, let's get into it so these are the things that you are going to need so you're going to need your paint that you choose for me i did get one quart of each it's not a lot of paint but when i did my room in my bedroom i had like still paint a lot of paint left over so and i actually also only did one coat which is surprising that one coat was great for my wall um so i got flat paint um just the most basic kind is low odor, but I, I'll show you the colors. This is a color. And then I got a color a little bit darker than that one, like a brown tone. You're also gonna need two stirrers. For reference, these are the color codes that I use. Then you're gonna need some tape, some masking tape. First, you're gonna need to tape for outline of your wall just so it won't get in unnecessary corners and stuff. So you're going to outline your wall with this tape and also cover all your outlets with this tape. Then I have two um, packs of plastic drop cloths and this is what I'm gonna use for the floor just to keep it protected. Um, and yeah, it should be long enough. And I'm actually gonna probably take the drop cloth to the floor so it won't move and everything else like it was doing beforehand. You're also gonna need one of these to open up the paint can. And you're only gonna use one of them. So you only need one. And last but not least, this is a very, very, very important part is you're gonna need a paintbrush. But listen very carefully. The thicker your paintbrush, the better. And lastly, I got this cheap brush. It was like a dollar and maybe like 30 cents I'm from Home Depot, but this is for the edges. You just wanna like paint, like you're painting uh, on canvas. Um, paint lightly around the edges part. Um, this will be very helpful. All right, so let's get into it. So first thing first, you wanna make sure that your space is just clear and clean of anything um, that can get damaged. So make sure if you're doing your living room, you make sure you just move your couch out the way or any other furniture that you have, your rugs and tables and everything. And make sure you cover the items that is gonna be nearby in the vicinity of the paint. The paint does get a bit messy and it does splatter a little bit with this project. However, don't worry, it is a water-based paint. So next, you wanna get a bowl of lukewarm water, put it in a bowl that you don't really use often. And then you want to get your paint tray on. Because we're gonna be using two different kinds of paint, you wanna make sure that you tape the paint tray in half. Um, this step is also very important because you don't want the paint to also leak so i use multiple and multiple layers but just make sure that you use your tape to separate each paint from each side once you have that done you can then pour the paint stir the paint make sure you stir the paint and then pour the paint one on each side So the next step is a very um, important part as well, but you just wanna make sure that you lightly dip your paintbrush into your water and then immediately take it to your paint and you're gonna dip it in your paint. You're gonna dip it in a way so that half of your paint gets one color and the other half gets the other color. Just dip it in there and then you're ready to start. All you're gonna do is create X movement. I just do the X movement, it just kinda helps mix everything in a very cool way. 
So just remember that every single time you finish painting, always dip first and then dip back into the paint. Use the same exact technique until you complete your entire wall. As I did mention, I only had to use one coat. Luckily, I've seen videos where people use two coats. And by all means, do what works for you if you wanna do two coats. However, one coat was like perfect for what the feel I was going for. That's pretty much what you do the whole entire time. It's so easy. It's not lime wash at all, but it just gives you that lime wash feel, lime wash look. Um, and I like it. It gives you a watercolor kind of feel as well. So or that's pretty much all that you do to get this. And voila, the job is done. It took me about two hours to complete, so it wasn't bad timing at all. However, the reason why I'm not showing my entire living room is because I am still ordering some other furniture pieces to complete the space. So um, I'm not going to show the whole room. Maybe in the future vlog, I will, along with the paint and everything. It just looks a little plain because I don't have all of the pieces that I need yet. But I do want to just show you guys what the wall does look like so far. And I am completely in love. So thank you all so much for watching. If you have any particular questions about the lime wash, um, just let me know. I was actually so into the groove that I ended up doing um, two walls in my apartment, um, the same color. So, and I really like it. So I'm actually about to run out to the store and grab some more decor items. And I ordered some more things to make, the, put the final touches on my space. But so far, I really love it. And yeah, so if you guys have any other questions, just put in the comments and I would love to answer them for you. So thank you so much for watching. And yeah.